Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. Today I am going to show you how to make this really cute and simple Hey Chuck card. Um, this is a new bundle from Stampin' Up. It is the third in a series of these adorable little chickens. Um, we had Hey Chick and then we had Birthday Chick and now we have Hey Chuck and they are just hilarious. I love them. Look at that guy. Um, I have a series of these videos and projects on my blog, so if you're looking for more ideas, make sure you click the link here on YouTube and go back over to my blog. The measurements and the supplies for this card um, is on a blog post, so the link will be down here at the bottom on YouTube. All right, we are going to stamp our funny little guy in memento black on basic white cardstock. And then we're gonna stamp the fence twice on basic white as well. All right, so for our little Chuck, I'm gonna start with his, um, his tail feathers. And I am using light cage and craze. And I'm gonna use the bullet tip end. I've played around with different color combinations for their tail feathers and really you can't go wrong. If you Google funny looking chickens <laughs> or exotic chickens, um, you will find all kinds of funny looking feather combinations. So don't be afraid to play around with that for sure. I'm gonna do the same thing over here on his little plume on his head. Just light Cajun craze all throughout. And then I'm gonna take my light cherry cobbler and just add in some red here towards the bottom like that. And we'll do the same thing over here. And then he has this little thing right here called a waddle, so we'll add some red to that. I'm gonna take my Daffodil Delight and color it in his nose and his legs. Now, his legs are very, very thin, so you just kinda of wanna tap that color on there like that. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow. I'm gonna leave him mostly white, but I'm gonna take my crumb cake and just kind of add some dusty shadow around the edge like this. And let's add a little bit to his, his little eyelids. And then you can take your color lifter and just kind of blend that out and it'll just kind of smooth it all out and just give you a little bit of shadow. Now for the fence, I am going to use um, a, our new uh, pecan pie. And I saw this fence colored in a really neat way online, and I'm going to I'm going to repeat that here. Usually I put the shadows underneath, um, but the artist on this card put the darker part at the top of the picket fences. And I thought it looked really cool. So we're gonna do that. So it's gonna go from dark to light. I'm just taking my light and just kind of coloring all of it in. And then I'm gonna take my dark and I'm just gonna kind of go across and then down. Across and then down. All right, and then I am gonna just add a little bit here. Like that. I think I'll add a little bit more up at the top. Kind of gives it that cartoon look. All right, let's do that again. All light. This is one of our new core colors, pecan pie, and I absolutely love it. I've been using it almost on every project. Now this time I'm using my brush tip because it allows me to kind of flick that color. It's not gonna be so with a, you know, with hard lines. There we go. And then just a little bit more towards the top. There we go. All right, let's cut these guys out. We are lucky to have matching stamp and blends let me make some room here um, this set does have the coordinating dies which we always love and let's see if i can find the right dies 
We'll put this one right here. You wanna match up those feet and the tail feathers. And then let's do some fences, the fence cutting as well. Run that through carefully. And we'll do one more of our fence. I actually have made a different card for each one of these little dudes on my blog. I just couldn't stop playing with them. They were so fun. They just make anybody smile when they see them. All right, now I am pulling in another stamp set. I wanted to let you know that I'm using these little dots right here on Seaside Bay. Many of your stamps do have something similar, a texture stamp. So you can look around for that if you need it. I'm gonna take these and I'm just gonna kind of go around and add some dots. And you can stamp and stamp off too. So stamp and stamp off so you're getting a lighter color each time. All right, now I am bringing over a pecan pie mat. So we'll mat this in pecan pie and a pecan pie card base. And I've got pecan pie glorious gingham. We have a whole little pack of designer series paper that's all ginghams. And if you know me, you know I love gingham. So this is one of my favorite DSP packs in the catalog. All right, now I've got a little strip of this wood grain. It's a blue wood grain. It's from our um, Let's Go Fishing, I believe it's called, designer series paper. And I'm gonna put that right along there, like that. All right, so now let's take some linen thread. And we're gonna wrap that around couple of times and tie a bow up here at the top. Now one thing I haven't done is stamp the sentiment, the saying. And I usually like to do that before I put the card together. So in case I mess up, I can just grab another piece, but I didn't do that this time. So let's hope that we get it right. All right. I didn't do a very good job. Let's see if I can tighten that up a little bit. There we go. All right. Now I have got these two sentiments. We're gonna do rise and shine and it's your birthday. Now I like to kind of practice to see if I'm gonna get it straight. Sometimes I need to stamp my stamps a little bit sideways, but this looks like it's mounted perfectly. So rise and shine, it's your birthday. All right, there we go, not bad. All right, last but not least, let's add our little guy and the two fences. I'm gonna use some mini Stampin' Blends for the fence. And we'll put one here like that. And we'll put the other one. And I didn't want them perfectly straight. I kind of want them a little bit wonky. So we'll put that one a little bit like up and kind of over like that. And then we'll get a stamp and blend for Chuck and put Chuck right there. And there you go, a fun birthday card. This would make a great card for a guy, a kid, a friend, really anybody who you think would find this little guy funny. All right, click the link here, go grab that free PDF and check out my other Hey Chuck projects. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.